Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech using the cool selfie stick remote as usual for info and the Zenio tripod and all that good yummy stuff. Uh, I reached a conclusion about all the websites I use. I like them, but I don't like them in the attempt to sell me products I just Amazon is the classic example. So let's get to the intro before I say something bad. I'm going to have a cigarette. Calm down because I'm so ticked at Amazon right now. Bit. I can spit bullets. Okay. Later. Be right back. All right, kids, I'm back. Today, we're, I've calmed down a little. We're going to talk about Amazon and their deceptive business practices. They want you to stay on their site. They'll try to sell you everything you didn't ask for. And the presumption that you're too stupid to not know what you really want. And then they assume. So I was looking for a laptop for my boss. That's like samples. It was last night. And the first thing I noticed was the checkbox for 13 inch was checked off. I look up my research, I said 14 inch IPS display laptop. So I move the cursor down and I click and it jumps down to 15. So just you know, being an experimental, I move the cursor. What? Shit. God damn it. Why'd you turn on? Uh hmm. Hmm. So the cursor is the exact same spot. And the X here. Both items I did want. And I put it back in 14. Now let's see if it jump up or down. Instead of checking the box and saying, Eh, I think anything that meets your search criteria. At the left, I just say two hours and some minutes of my time. Instead, I'm so ticked at those bastards. I try to turn my fill light back in there. There we go. It just turned itself off after. Three hours. Two more. So, it's the same thing. You walk into a restaurant. Let's say you go to a steak joint. I've actually had this happen. And I ordered a ribeye. And the waitress comes walking out five minutes later. She says, Well, sir, um, the chef suggests, I was like, let me just zip it, and I'll tell you what the chef suggests. And you know, I sold a New York strip, and it's only three bucks more. But I don't like New York strip. So tell your chef not to presume. Get off his dead ass, and tell your boss you will never upsell to a customer again. Because of that, I will never come to this place again. I asked for a ribeye. You tried to sell me. You tried to upsell me. Did I ask for a New York strip? No. 
I don't like New York Strip as well as I like ribeye. But that zip it, walk back in there. Number one, tell the chef, make what the order says. And then walk back and tell your boss, Tim says you can kiss his lily white butt. That's how this stuff works. <laughs> but instead, Amazon says so you know, everything that you didn't ask for. I literally watched last night and I went in and I said operating system and I clicked on Windows 10. And I sat there for about five seconds. I watched it move up to Chromebooks. Did I ask for Chromebooks? Why in the hell would I want a Chromebook? We can really use them. Or Android apps. Yeah. My boss can barely operate Windows 10. So you presumed I wanted something else. Dad. I asked for Windows 10. If you don't have one, that's fine. Tell me right away. Save my time. Instead, I walked away from that website last night. And I want to tell you right now, the lowest place to check your last resort, where they'll try to sell you all kinds of stuff you haven't asked for, is Amazon. Don't go there until you check New Egg and then I mean, I, I, a new way I'll show you a couple of suggestions. What if you ask for a 14-inch laptop? They'll say, well, we don't got one. If you ask for, you know, like a new Zotac, they'll show it to you. And you say, well, I want the bear going, oh, here you go. They won't try to sell you something you didn't ask for. I'm okay with that. I think it's a good website. Now you don't get a kickback like you do on Amazon. Well, folks, hello, Amazon. You owe me just on the laptop search last night, three hours, before I got through six pages of crap I never asked for. Chromebooks, I was like, Windows 10, I just sit back and watch, and I watch go up to my boss uses a flip phone. The hell would he want a Chromebook for? You know an Android if you're any more. He's 70 years old. Don't presume I want something that you think. If I click something, that's what I want. If you don't have it, tell me. I'll leave. Poof. But quit that crap. It, I'm sure somehow it's illegal. It, at the very least, it's a deceptive business practice. And now you guys owe me, uh, you know, for three hours of my time, I, I charge $60 an hour. But, uh -huh. I expect $180 in gift cards. On this search hole, I search for something else today. So we're going to be at like $360 in gift cards. And I might buy something that I don't need. But don't ever try to sell me a Chromebook. I use Windows. I have a PC. I had a PC for years. Why in the hell would I want a Chrome OS? Well, because, because you thought.
If I ask for Windows 10, I better damn well not see that thing flick up to Chrome OS. Stop. Don't do that anymore. Okay. Gotta go catch you tomorrow with an actual product review on something from Amazon. But actually, didn't take me a long time, but still about an hour. And it was just real simple. And they showed me everything I didn't ask for. Yeah, I need TPU case. Good bumpers. Oh, here's a very nice two piece polycarbonate. Yes, yes, black TPU case. Bumpers at the bottom and the corner. And lots of lip. I got one from Shen's SD. And it should be here tomorrow. We'll find out. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm so sick of Amazon right now. And greater stuff. All places to find stuff on the internet. They're at the very bottom. Deceptive business practices. Hi, Mr. Jeff Bezos. Your site is evil. Don't sell something that people don't ask for. If they ask for 14 inch, you have a certain price range. Have the balls to be a nice guy and say, we don't have that. No, go elsewhere. Don't try to sell them something bigger or smaller or something. You know. What they, need. they probably... And a good reason for changing that side. But you assumed. So we'll catch y'all tomorrow. That's all I got. Thanks for watching the whole thing. I did go on a little too long, but I didn't say the F word, and I don't think I even said the S word. But if I said poopy, you know what I meant. And if I said effed up, you know what I mean. Bye for now.